Hi, this is James Lundis, James the Wine Guy, here to share this wine with you today. This is Nelms Road Cabernet Sauvignon, 2009 vintage, and this is from Washington State. This is from the producer Woodward Canyon, and you can see here 16.1% alcohol content. In fact, I looked on my database for all the wines I've reviewed, and I've never seen one at this level. Now, uh, of course, there's no back panel here. It's just a wraparound. Now, for me, that's, um, that's it's noteworthy, and that's why I really wanted to try this wine. I thought, I wonder what it can do. And I think it, um, you know, I, I'm also trying to be judicious about reviewing alcohol and wine, and that is there are some varietals that can really handle their alcohol quite well. Zinfandel, uh, Shiraz, Syrah, Petite Syrah, and others that uh, do a little struggle, if you will. Or if it's not struggling, then it's going to mask some flavor characteristics. And that's what can happen, say, in Pinot Noir. I had a Pinot Noir at 16, and uh, all you tasted was heat. All you tasted was alcohol. All the other flavor components were completely lost. And uh, something that I was uh, very disappointed in that particular Pinot Noir. I've never seen that before. Now, this is a wine that I've never seen in terms of at least this alcohol percentage. I looked at their Merlot that they produce, and it was at the same exact range. Now, if they're off by, say, half percent, it's going to go up to, say, 16.6 or go the reverse, 15.6. Either way, it's still pretty high, relatively high, and in my opinion, a bit too high for Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it, it is a drinkable wine, but it is something that um, it's those one degrees of uh, increase uh, that, that just really tend to take away bit by bit, and uh, that's why you don't see a lot of 16 or 17% Cabernet Sauvignons, because it just really can't take it. And um, from this vantage point, I'm just wondering why this occurred. I looked at Woodward Canyon's wines, and they were in the mid-14s, which is perfectly fine. Even that difference, say mid-14s to 16-1, big difference. Now, um, I wish I had a bottle of Woodward Canyon at that level and range and try to compare it. Maybe comparing apples to oranges, but if you compare Cabernet Sauvignon uh, from this producer, Woodward Canyon, to, say, this uh, label here, Nelms Road, what are you going to get? And how markedly different is that? It can be different. So here we go. Take a taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. A lot of heat on this. And you're tasting on the front end, middle, and back end. And that's something that is just proof positive of this really intense alcohol uh, situation that we have here. The flavor notes we do get. Our early season cherry, red plum, mountain raspberry, malabar pepper, bay leaf, and cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Now, at this level, in my opinion, if it were just drawn back just a bit, say a percentage and a half, I think we'd have a markedly different wine. This wine would be bringing out characteristics that, that are just being masked by the alcohol. So alcohol can do really good things, and at a higher percentage, it can do some not-so-great things. So I'm not in the bandwagon of high alcohol, all bad. Um, sometimes it's preferred in some uh, varietals and sometimes it brings out some characteristics and the tannic component and so forth can really bring that through. The flavor component just um, is, is just so powerful. In this example, this Cabernet Sauvignon in my opinion was just a bit too high. So this is an 8.5 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, Pinterest. Salud.